Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to cover the install of a Cheeky Seats seat cover from my 2022 Honda Grom. The stock seat is pretty much the only thing that is still stock on this bike. And I think it looks, it doesn't complete the look of the bike since again, everything else, literally, I think everything else on this bike has been modified. So um, quick install again of the seat. It's got orange piping and orange stitching and actually the orange is a really good match to the wheels, so I think is going to aesthetically look really good. It also has a little bit of additional padding for comfort. The way that this works, and I actually also have a cheeky seats cover on my Honda Ruckus build, is that you just put it over the stock cover and there's a drawstring to pull it tight, and it's really that simple. On my Ruckus though, I did end up cutting the drawstring and actually just stapling the seat cover on to make it that much tighter. And I'll probably do the same thing on this install, but first let me get it on and see what it looks like in the stock form with just the drawstring. And then I'll show the process to actually staple it down if you want to make it extra permanent. And then another thing that's not really an install, but check out this cool Repsol sticker that I got. It's actually an authentic Honda part that I assume came on one of the uh, CBRs that have the Repsol livery. Anyway, I'm going to be putting it on my front fender where I currently just have a final cut sticker that says Repsol. Uh, this just looks uh, a little bit cooler to help finish this overall build. But once I get uh, this seat cover on, I really think that this build may finally be done. I've had this bike since, uh, I honestly can't remember, sometime in 2021. Um, but again, with this final installation, may call this build complete. All right, so a quick unboxing or unpackaging of the seat cover. So this is the drawstring that once you have it around the seat, you just pull down to tighten around the edges. You can see that it's got some additional padding and this really cool honeycomb pattern on the one that I got, again, with this orange piping that matches well with the rest of the bike. So uh, just gonna put it over the seat. Actually, I'm gonna first pull off this uh, this little band that um, I guess is for holding on to. It looks like there's uh, it looks like there's these two little 10 millimeter nuts that I need to pull off that'll just release that. All right, so without a lot of maneuvering, and there's definitely some shifting, let's say I need to, you wanna get everything nice and centered. Okay, first pass, and I think it looks pretty good. I didn't pull the material too tight, and I didn't really cinch down that draw cord because I am going to staple these down, but uh, the stitching is beautiful, the colors match, and I think it really adds to the overall look of the bike. So what I'm going to do is make sure everything is perfectly centered and then start stapling it down just so that I can pull all this material very tight uh, so that you don't see any wrinkle marks. Again, I think if you use the drawstring and pull it tight, uh, you'll get rid of most of these wrinkles, but I, I really like the idea of stapling it so that it's a permanent solution. So I've got a pneumatic staple gun and I'm just gonna pull each side tight and throw staples along the edge here. And in the end, I'll probably just remove the drawstring that runs across the uh, perimeter of the seat. But make sure first that you have everything perfectly centered because once you get the staples in, it's pretty hard to take them out if you don't have things properly aligned. All right, so I've got all the staples in. 
I didn't uh, film all of the stapling just because it's kind of boring, but just pulling it tight and stapling it into the plastic. I'm using quarter of an inch stainless steel uh, staples. You definitely want to use stainless steel, otherwise you're going to get rust all over these. But uh, once I got all these in, I did cut out the drawstring um, because I no longer needed it. But you can see that everything now is pulled really tight against the uh, plastic frame of the seat. All right, so again, a simple solution that I think now completes the look of this bike. The orange matches really well. Cheeky Seats has a lot of different color options and designs. I have this honeycomb hexagon look uh, with the orange piping because I think that looks good with this bike, but they've got just about any combination uh, to work with the design that you've got going on with your bike. Uh, I think from a modifications perspective, this bike is just about done. Again, I've had it for a couple of years and I've tried lots of different things on it, but really happy with the way that it looks at the moment. I'll also be bringing this bike to the Barber Small Bore event in Birmingham, Alabama, uh, which is coming up June 9th through the 11th, I think. Uh, so if you're there at the show and you see this bike, stop by and say hi. Anyway, thank you everybody very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and keep on building.